I got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Damn good show. So Tucker Carlson, he's warning Trump about his VP. He's warning him? Yeah, he's giving him advice. Oh, he's warning his VP, his future VP. He's warning Trump who to pick for VP. Oh, Gave his input. I don't think that's wise. I think he should be warning the VP what to expect. Why is he warning Trump about his VP? He should be warning the vice president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see what happened to Pence last time? <laughs> He almost got that man hung <laughs> in front of the Capitol. In front of the Capitol. <laughs> he never disavowed it, neither. <laughs> he called them patriots. <laughs> that was crazy. But anyway. Yeah, that's crazy as hell. Hey, let's go to the video. Vote for Trump if he chose Nikki as VP. And would you guys vote no? for Trump? Well, I mean, that's the question that I asked you specifically. Well, I, right. I, I, I would not only not vote for that ticket, I would I would advocate against it as strongly as I could. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, well, that, that's, I, just, I, that's just poison. I mean, here's someone who's actively opposed to the interests of the country I grew up in, who endorsed the BLM riots, and who is not, only, is, is not left, but is neoliberal in the darkest, most, speaking of nihilist, nihilistic mm -hmm. way. And has no real popular support. Is a, is a creature of the oligarchs. So yeah, that would be that would be reason to oppose the ticket. Even Trump, Haley is a no go. Nikki Haley. He would get assassinated immediately if that were the case. Yeah. And by the way, I just can't yeah, yeah. imagine a world where that could happen. That would be so crazy. I mean, <laughs> anything could happen, of course. But picking Nikki Haley, um, who's utterly treacherous. Can I just ask a question? Since you all are so on the internet, and like I'm not that much. Um, you really get the sense that Ron DeSantis, who I liked as governor, uh, the people who represent him online are the nastiest, the stupidest, and the most zero-sum people I've ever yes. seen in my life. And I don't think that reflects him, but it's like, this is kind of small ball. And by the way, these purported conservatives, Ron DeSantis changed his view, and I like him, okay? I think he's been a good governor. I just want to be clear about that. I know him personally. I like him. But his donor, Ken Griffin, told him to change his view on Ukraine from it's a regional conflict we shouldn't get involved in to it's a super important thing we should send more money. One donor got him to change his view, and all these so-called conservatives are supporting that like it's the most important thing ever. I, like, who are these people, and what is their problem? Like, what is going on with them? It, it does reflect on Ron, because Ron should have fired the people running his campaign a long time ago. Uh, look, I, I respect that he wanted to launch his campaign on X, on Twitter Spaces yeah, at the time, agree. and it and it failed miserably. This is a mistake. And now you've got, uh, look, I know a lot of people groan, but a lot of people laugh, the high heels, you know, boots scandal. I mean, who's giving this guy advice and why does he keep taking it? Because I will say it, I will say it politically and, and policy-wise, we love Ron DeSantis. Yeah. He's done an amazing job. I agree. But his campaign is a train wreck. Yeah. I mean, I, but the case, I, I kind of like Vivek. I think he's one of those people who, everyone beats up on Vivek for being, he's a phony and all this stuff. I don't know. I, I've covered a lot of campaigns going back to 1992, and I've noticed this thing in many candidates, and I notice it in him. The process, the process of running for president and speaking three times a day and having people throw hostile questions in your face causes you to change. They all change during these campaigns, like for real, inside. And I feel like Vivek's positions have gotten much more sincere mm -hmm. since the beginning of this. Like he, I watch him with Nikki Haley, and I'm like, this is a guy who's very offended by her views, like for real. He's not attacking her because she's a woman. He's attacking her because he actually thinks her views are terrible for the country he lives in. And I love that. Mm -hmm. yeah, man. Finally, we got a white supremacist standing up for Vivek, man. Finally, we got a good white supremacist that's got some backing, that's got a name, that's got a track record. Just got some credibility. He's trustworthy. Everybody believes in Tucker Carlson. Because I don't know how many times I went up to people and they said the exact same sentiment about uh, um, Vivek. Man, that dude, I think he's a fake. He's a phony. He's backed by Soros. Yeah, and he's brown. I don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> that dude, man, he will make a great vice president. He ain't going to be Trump's vice president. Yeah, I wouldn't either. He ain't, ain't going to get me hung. <laughs> They didn't get that white man pissed. They surely get my brown ass. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all don't know what Kevin's talking about, supposedly on that day. Everybody when they, knows about that. At the Capitol. Uh, the when people at the Capitol saying, hang Mike Pence. Hey, that, that actually happened. That's not a, uh, I didn't make that up. There's people trying to hang Pence. I don't know if it was like, no, nah, whatever. Yeah, I Let's mean, sleep in if the Pence life. was in the rotunda right there in the Capitol when you went in, yeah. it would have been a good, uh, it wouldn't have been good for him. I, I I firmly believe that. <laughs> you don't think he could have talked to me? 
Hey, look here, guys. I'm Mike Pence. And uh, y'all saw me in that, um, um, no, I'm dead. <laughs> no, he did good against Kamala in the, um, yeah. Anybody debate. can keep it. Guess not, not saying much. Kamala? <laughs> Who can't win a debate against Kamala? That lady is the easiest, the most stupidest politician. Yeah. So who's gonna be Trump's uh, VP? Um, I don't. I don't think Vivek's uh, gonna take it. I really don't. I think it'll be Karen Lake because she ain't got to worry about a woman getting hanged. That's over the top right there. <laughs> if, she, if she don't do what Trump does, I, I don't see them, you know, trying to hang her. You think? Of the you think he's gonna choose Karen Lake? It might be Karen Lake. Um, I would say Ron DeSantis, but I don't think Ron would do it. They're two lines, you know. Um, I don't think Vivek could do it because he's brown. What? I don't think he'd do it because they hang him. Hey, Ken, won't you get serious on this, man? You always joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't think Vivek could do it because uh, it's just if anything it's goes much, wrong, it's too much a risk. If something goes wrong, you know, he's he, he'll be tarnished forever. Yeah, he'd be tarnished. Yeah. yeah. Not saying that. Um, I like Trump Trump. Trump. I'm voting for Trump. Trump's my mind. Trump is my man. That's who I'm voting for. I actually like Vivek. I love Vivek. I would actually vote for Vivek over Trump. And he's not going to get past Trump. So why are you going to vote for him? <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying if he made it that far. So you're going to go to the polls, and when we try to pick the Republican nominee, you actually going to go in and vote for Vivek? I mean, hell, okay, I, I join you. I go ahead and vote for him. He's not going to win. <laughs> <laughs> I just think he's— um, I think he's the best. I, uh, think I actually, shut up. I think he's the best candidate. I think he can actually Let's, talk some sense into the left. That's what I think. Yeah, I just think uh, Trump's um, he's, too, he's too the black. left has. Let me do some talking. <laughs> the left has done such a great job in painting Trump as this, as this asshole. Yeah. And he gives them all the ammunition they need. Huh? He gives them all the ammunition. But they don't do him no favors. I know they, that. They, they clip audio, they clip videos, and yeah, they, they yeah. take things out of context. So, yeah. I mean, he's not done himself any favors. But I think Vivek will have a better job of getting independents to vote. Yeah, he would definitely Republican. swing some independent votes. And he, I think he would swing more Democrats than Trump. Yeah. But I think, but I think if Trump makes it, I think he's going to win in a landslide. I yeah. think whoever's the Republican nominee is going to win in a landslide because yeah. that's how bad Democrats are. Yeah. But I actually like Vivek. I think he will just, I don't know, I just think he um, he's uh, shrewder yeah. when it comes to politics. Mm-hmm. He's not going to um, he's not gonna be on Twitter telling Rihanna how bad she sucks and <laughs> just stuff like that. That he, hurts him. He's going to talk trash about Snoop Dogg and he's, his career is struggling. He's a horrible rapper and all this. You know? Yeah, they, you don't realize that galvanizes black people go vote against you when you yeah. do stuff like that. Because yeah. black people are one one issue voters. Yeah, reparations. That's all they. They already about. think you racist. Now you talking about their favorite rapper. Oh, I gotta vote. Yeah. See what I'm saying? The v- Vivek's not gonna do that. Yeah. The worst you are gonna get out of Vivek is what he did to Van Jones the other day. Tell him. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, Trump's my guy, man. He's my guy too. Like we can go vote for Vivek. It's not gonna hurt. You you, ex- you exercise your constitutional right. He's gonna lose. We both know he's gonna lose. But if, if I you think feel, he's doing a lot better than people make him out to if be. If you have that much of a conviction for for the for Vivek Ramaswamy, just vote for him. I, I love him too. I think he's actually the best candidate. But he's not gonna win. But we can go vote for him. You waste your time. I vote, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go vote for Vivek. Somebody sent me a comment. Why do you support Vivek? So I support both of them. But why don't you support Vivek? He has no ex- political experience. I'm like. I was going to respond. What political experience did Trump have? Yeah, the reason why I like the reason why Vivek resonates with me, along with Trump, he's a businessman. He he knows how to run a business. He's a leader. That's, shut up. That's how you run a country. It's like a business. Yeah, you gotta have good leadership qualities. I think mm-hmm. Trump has great leadership qualities. He ran a business. He's yeah. made, you know. Yeah. And he ran the country like that. <laughs> I think Vivek would do the same thing. Trump, but he's not going to be. Trump has got good leadership qualities, but he's got excellent, excellent troll qualities. <laughs> That's the, the, that's the them troll qualities he got. That's what gets him in trouble. Cause he's running his he's running um twi- his Twitter. He's running America like it's the Apprentice. That's like Trump. You know You're when he tw- fired. <laughs> you know like Trump on Twitter. And you like, know that you <laughs> you know that's Trump tweeting. Like Biden when he tweet, you know Biden's not nowhere near Twitter. <laughs> you know that dude's not tweeting. Yeah, he, man. He can, when Trump, tweets, I don't think he can even hold the phone. He'd be like, yes. <laughs> When Trump tweets, you know Trump said that.
Huh? When Trump tweets, you'd know he said that. Yeah. Because it's in his voice. You go to uh, Twitter right now for Joe Biden, he's like, man, he didn't say that. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I can't wait to see who's going to be his VP. I'd be shocked if it's uh, Vivek. I'd be shocked. Wouldn't be bad, man. No, nah, he'd be a great VP. Yeah. I think he'd be a great president. But if anything goes awry, yeah. they're going to go off to the brown fellow. <laughs> <laughs> Get him! That Soros back. That dude, he's a traitor. He sounds just like Obama. <laughs> and he's not even a citizen. <laughs> he's from I, Nigeria. I don't even think he's born here. <laughs> Where's your birth certificate? <laughs> you brown son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, we got a new giveaway going. We're giving away a Ford F-350 and 10000 in cash. The end of the win. Go to FisherHawkTwins.com. Anything you buy from the site, get you automatically. Get it to win. Yeah.